set. Helicopter's good to go. Thanks, man. Mm. I think it's time we had a gathering. Uh, Max! What have you done? This is no good! What's going on? Oh, shit. Here he comes. What are you sure you're not looking up? For Christ's sake! Why wasn't anyone watching him? Uh, Fergus, everyone is busy. No time for babysitting. Well, lock him up with a pig, then. What's the problem? Mentors! Our favorite shirt. Fuck, Max! <laughs> Fergus, it's only a shirt. No, it's not just a fucking shirt. I got this shirt at Kinloss. It's the only one I have. All right, y'all. Drop whatever the fuck you're doing. Because we got some hell to raise. Hey, Englishman. You got nukes on this ship, did you know that? Oh, is that why it only took one of them to level Death's Head's entire fucking compound? How'd you figure that out, oh great genius? Oh, so you knew. Yet you only used the one. Explain that blip to me, shit for brains, because you are stupid for real. Oh, for fuck's sakes, you can't bloody well just go around dropping bombs on random civilians, you dim-witted bambot. Oh, eat me, cocksucker. I'm not saying we chunk nukes at a bunch of cities all willy-nilly, pencil dick. Do I look like a fucking Nazi to you? No, 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 no. I would say you most resemble a skitterdrukit cunt rag, emitting a heinous honking similar to that of a shite spoon volcano, affronting the senses at full force. Well, at least my face isn't a dead ringer for a massive prolapsed rectum. I want to blow a gut just looking at your bleary-eyed jive ass. You know what I'm saying? The reason we haven't used one of the other atom bombs, which would be obvious to anyone who isn't profoundly idiotic, is we need a proper target first. Well, I'm here to say that I got a proper target. And it's a fucking good one, too. So sit your clown ass down, you dumb fuck Scottish motherfucker. Fair enough. Check it out. I sent Special ahead to his hometown of Roswell, New Mexico, to prep for the mission. Now, there's a tunnel that's accessible through Special's hideout that will take you straight into the Nazis' top secret underground base, where they're experimenting with some sort of wigged out alien technology. Roswell, New Mexico, you said? This is one of ours. What do you mean? One of yours? Yeah. Wouldn't you like to know? So you can send coded messages back to your pals in Berlin? No! What the fuck is she even doing here? Grace, why? She's good people. She's a fucking Nazi. On your boat. What were you saying, Pops? Hmm? Hmm. That secret base you were talking about was constructed by us. That's you, one of our biggest safe keeps. Yeah, it was located here, underground, near what is now Roswell, New Mexico, but it, I mean, it existed for a thousand years, long before America got subjugated by the Europeans. It contained technology related to anti-gravity research, something that could easily turn the tide of war. We gave the US government access to it. Unfortunately, it was too late. America fell, the Nazis took hold. For a safe keep. Uh, okay. Shit. That's not gonna sit well with Speci. He had his bet on space aliens. He once saw a ship that crashed back there in 47. So what do you want with this place? Know what the Oberkommando is? Hey. That's where the top brass clock tails of the Nazi war machine reside. Yeah, well, the Nazis moved it into your safe keep set. So whatever it is is so important that the whole upper echelon of the Nazi leadership left Berlin and set up shop in New Mexico. And this is why you need this for. What on earth is that? This is a portable nuclear bomb. We're gonna take out the Ober Commando, cripple the Nazi leadership, and destabilize the fucking country and let the people know that the fight is back on. Blazkowicz, load up. I'm sending you to Roswell with this. Roswell is out of helicopter range. So we'll drop you off by the coast near Galveston. From there, you will catch a ride to Roswell, rendezvous with Super Special at Papa Joe's All-American Diner, and plant the nuke inside the very heart of the Ober Commando. Then, 
you blow that shit the fuck up. Okay, Blaskowitz, look for Papa Joe's All-American Diner. Meet Super Special inside the restaurant. Do not break cover. Concert tonight? Oh, Jeb here is. He's a, a big fan of DK for ancient Jeb. The well, music makes me happy. It's from that way. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Jeb? I like your style, Americans. Very good. You're part of the Reich now. Subject of the Great Führer. I hope for your sake you consider the Reich and all its glorious people your own. Yes, of course, sir. Mm -hmm. sure. Let me give you some free advice. You are witnessing a new dawn for America. You have a choice in this new world. Because the time will come when, how do you say, the wheat detaches from the chaff. Have you taken your German lessons? Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Good. You, how do you say thank you in German? Oh, of course, sir. Let me see. It's, um... Yes. Dank. Dank. Yes, out with it. Dank. Danky. <laughs> My God. <laughs> was that all right? No, that was terrible. You're butchering my beautiful language. It's Danke schön, verdammt. Say it. Uh, Danke schön? Incorrect. Danke schön. Danke schön? I've heard enough. No more. <laughs> I'm so sorry, sir. I'm still practicing. You will practice hard. Oh, I will, sir, and I am so sorry.
meine Liebe. Do you know how beautiful you are? <lacht> Stop it, you. Ich liebe dich, Alison. Ich liebe dich, Vater. you people celebrating your own destruction City of the ground and be done with it. Yeah, better not worry about it. Hey, we got a parade to watch. You bet.
extra, extra, read all of the... Hey, mister, want to buy a newspaper? I got today's news for you right here, mister. Only one Reichsmark. Say, mister, you look familiar to me. Are you some kind of celebrity? Mister, you... My God. If you are who I think you are, I just want you to know I am behind you all the way. Hey, you. Hey, you. You want to know a secret? Well, I won't tell you, because you're a fucking Nazi traitor. Uh-huh. But you I can trust. All those Nazi scum will die like boom! <laughs> fucking assholes. What are you looking at? Fucking Nazi loving scumbags. Chase them out of this town. No, no. Planet! Then they can all burn together on some far, far away hellhole. <clears throat> what?
Beeindruckend. Wie bitte? Ich habe die Kerben an deinem Gewehrkolben gesehen. Das sind keine Abschüsse. Wir sorgen dafür, dass das Gewehr mir nicht wegrutscht. Ich habe Probleme mit schwitzigen Händen. Den Ausschlag an den Füßen. Was sollen wir mit Wollen sein? Wir sind doch hier nicht in Bayern. Mir gefällt's hier. Ein kaltes Bier nach Dienstschluss und die Welt ist in Ordnung. Hey, ich lade dich heute Abend ein. Die haben nur diese winzigen Ami-Gläser. Aber wir können die Blumenvasen von der Fensterbank nehmen. <lacht> Abgemacht. Read all about it! Discover marriage approved by the Ministry of Family Affairs! Oh, that's wonderful <laughs> news! When's the wedding? We haven't decided on a date yet, but soon. You're invited, of course, Auntie. Oh, that's nice, dear. Give my regards to your father when you return to the farm. Oh, and tell him I'm putting some hardworking slaves up for auction this week if he's interested. There'll be cocktails. I'll tell him, Auntie. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye-bye, dear. Okay, what would it be? Uh, I would like the chicken salad to go. Uh, no cheese, no onions, no dressing. Is there noodles in that? Uh, yes, but we could make it without if that's better. Yes, that would be great. Oh, and a piece of pie as well. Certainly. You can uh, take a seat down by the counter and I'll prepare your food if you excuse me. Uh, it would be great if it could be fast. I'm in a bit of a hurry. Certainly, ma'am.
Amelia. I took Mary Jane to see his Reef and Style movie last night. Gee whiz, what a swell movie. The Fjord sure cleaned up Hollywood from all that prey filth they used to show in the cinema. <laughs> now, it's much more wholesome. And what a hoot of a movie. You're in for a real treat. What is taking them so long? Why don't they open? Say, why don't we come again on Saturday? We'll make it a double date. You bring Mary Jane, and I'll bring Mandy. Uh, next weekend, maybe. I'm taking German classes at the library this weekend. No, they're good. Taking so long. Don't mind me, folks. Just strolling around with my nuke. Anderson was quite vocal about the way things turned out after the war, if you know what I mean. Oh, weren't we all at first? Then we saw all the good things the Germans were doing for this country, didn't we? Arthur got his old job back at the factory. Oh, I tell you, things were going to hell in a handbasket before they came. Huh. That's the gods on this trip. What a raid. Here is... Papa Joe's All-American Diner. My kind of dive. Was hast du heute gelernt, Peter? I don't know. Stuff? Practice your German, dear. You will need it. Was denn für Sachen? Das der Führer ist ein großer Autor und Maler. <laughs> Sehr gut, mein Junger. Bobby told me that the Führer painted the Mona Lisa. And that he made the atom bomb. And then he put my head in the toilet and flushed it. That's awful. Someone should teach young Bobby some manners. You can bet you're behind his mother won't do it. I want you to promise me you'll stay away from him. Are you listening to me, Peter? Now, pick something from the menu. Oh, wish the secret police hadn't taken away the help. When will he ever get home-cooked meals again? Mom, can I have the chili? <laughs> sure can. Yes! If we ever get service in this godforsaken place...
Hold your horses. Oh, hello there, sir. Please, have a seat at the counter. I'll be right with you. Ma'am, what'll it be? Uncle We're about to close, unfortunately. Oh, it, it's to go. We'll be quick. Let's see. Uh, I'll have the... Blazkowicz. Speshy knows you're coming to attack the Overcommando, but he has no idea you bring in a damn atom bomb. You gotta break him the news. Hello? Hello? Come on, Peter. Let's go someplace else. But, Mom, no we have butts! Oh! Bitte schön. Danke. Well, good day, ma'am. You, one strawberry milkshake, please. Oh, I hope you don't have a fire back there to put out. If so, I'll come back another time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fire can wait, Commandant. One strawberry milkshake coming right up. Fireman, I recognize your face. Very Aryan face it is, too. Are you at a station one? There you go, Commandant. Oh, vielen Dank. <laughs> mm. Now you, show me your identification papers, please. Mm. I love strawberry milkshake. It's perhaps my favorite American thing. So simple. It's just milk and ice cream. The rest of the menu, however, I think you will need to address. I think it needs to be more German. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me. Are you from here, John Smith? Huh? I read here that you operate out of Station 6. What is the location of Station 6? I'm... Uh... I'm unfamiliar with this station. Speak up. Commandant, Sie werden vom Oberkommando verlangt. War das nicht Zeit? Trink gerade noch meine Erdbeermilch. Leider nicht, Commandant. Das Oberkommando verlangt, Sie umgehend zu sehen. In Ordnung, ich, ich komme schon. Mm. 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 Mein Gott. Oh mein Gott, das bist du. Das bist du! Blast, we shut the fucking front door! Before any more goddamn Nazi show for milkshakes. Not that I don't trust you, Blaskwitz, but there's nothing saying you couldn't be wearing a mask made to look like William J. Blaskwitz to hide your alien space lizard facial traits. So, I made the pass where the Grace gave you. She didn't give me one. Right. Off with the mask. Show me your lizard face, motherfucker. Super special. Lower your weapon before I break your arm and put your lights out. I knew it was you, Terror Billy. I was just fucking with you. Come follow me. Hey. So, um, welcome to Mission Control. It's, I haven't had much of a chance to clean up around here. I'm, I'm sorry about that. It's, um, good stuff, this shit right here. It keeps the signals from getting through. Very effective against alien mind-reading devices. How's Grace? Good. Baby Abby? Fine as cream gravy. Christ, I miss her. Even the pissing in the face part, you know. I mean, maybe, maybe I miss that the most. <laughs> Little fucker. <laughs> so what have you been doing down here, Super Special? This place? My papa and me used this place to collect all the evidence we could find of the government cover-up. Cookie? Oh. It's been, been more than a decade now. Uh, summer of 47. I was the same year 
I quit working as a lawyer. In the year I joined the Black Revolutionary Front, after I got Grace acquitted from that murder charge that the goddamn FBI pigs trumped up against her. Anyway, one night, Papa heard something on the police frequency, and he brought me up north to Murphy's Ranch, where we found this flying saucer-like thing that crashed into the ground. And wouldn't you know it, the U.S. motherfucking military swooped in and quarantined off the entire Peru. Gave us some kind of bullshit story about a weather balloon. <laughs> they were lying out of their asses because we made off with some actual hard evidence. Here, take a look at this. Ah, pulled that baby right out of the crash site. Now, does that look like something that came off a weather balloon? This place is where we kept the records and started surveilling what the military is up to. Papa built most of it. So you reckon what you saw was a spaceship? I'm, I'm not saying it's a flying saucer from outer space, but it was clearly extraterrestrial in origin, if you catch my drift. It's all fucking connected, man. If you trace the chain of causation, you find yourself in a secret underground facility about 10 clicks east of Roswell, up by Bottomless Lakes, Area 52. Our government captured an alien flying saucer and they stored the salvaged bodies and technology in an underground vault. Everyone was involved. The FBI pigs, the military pigs, even the goddamn King President Pig himself. Check this shit out. Area 52, Area 51, over here, Area 48, Area 56, all over the Southwest. Nevada, New Mexico, it's one gigantic complex and it's connected by underground train tunnels. <laughs> look, look, look at the pictures. Plasma guns, mind control, anti-gravity engines. And after our coward ass government surrendered to the fucking Nazi pigs, our new masters took over all these bases and they kept doing their own experiments to, to further their own fascist agenda. Look at this. This whole thing is the Area 52 military compound. Up here, it's, uh, the Nazi head honchos installed the fucking Oberkommando. But down here below, is a cavernous vault full of all kinds of weird-ass technology. Alien shit. It's, it's all down there. Now, I haven't seen it myself, but it's there. Well, whatever it is, it, 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 it ain't Martians. No, okay, all right, all right. We, nobody knows for sure exactly what kind of technology we're dealing with, but it's most likely space alien based. It ain't space aliens. I talked. How the fuck do you know? Are you, are you are you some kind of expert on all things extraterrestrial now? Look, I've been a lawyer a long fucking time, and I know a motherfucking conspiracy when I see one. No, okay, I'm not saying it's space aliens, right? But it goes without saying it's fucking space aliens. So I got a nuke in this here fire extinguisher. Okay. Cool it. I did not mean to rile you. Grace told me that you know a way into the Oberkommando. You get me in there, I will use this nuke to blow the top brass of the Nazi leadership to smithereens. Yes! Yes, of course! That sounds so good. I'm here to help. Papa dug these tunnels to the underground train system that connects all the top secret military bases. This tunnel goes right to Area 52 Cargo Train Loading Depot. All right. Now, you should put that nuke in uh, this backpack to keep your hands free for shooting. All right. Lots of Nazis down there. And other things. Now, I'll keep in touch on the radio. Help you out. Hey, stay frosty, Blaskowitz. Keep going down that tunnel, and you'll end up at the Area 52 cargo train loading depot. Fastest way to Area 52 will be to hitch a ride on one of those cargo trains.
You think they can see I'm fading? Without your wings, I would fall. Oh, what the hell? They got rocket trains now. Verständnis für Terroristen. Wie können sie Gewalt gegen uns gutheißen, nur weil wir anderer Ansicht sind? Die sind halt gewalttätig, Karl. Denen fehlt die moralische Richtung. Gewalt nur zu noch mehr Gewalt. Das stimmt, Karl. Gewalt ist niemals in Ordnung. Niemals. Was für eine Gesellschaft wäre das, wenn ich jeden töten würde, der meine Ansicht nicht teilt? Ein Kriegsgebiet, Karl. Das wäre ein Kriegsgebiet. Zum Kotzen. Hast du dich für New Orleans beworben? Na klar. Und du? Auf jeden Fall. Vielleicht sind wir in einer Todesschwalbe. Komm, wir arbeiten doch gut zusammen. Ja.
fucking engine is on the tracks. Get inside and fire her up, old man. Hast du den Kerl gesehen? Äh, nein. Ja, hier ist wohl nicht.
Sand und sie hatten keine Jacke in meiner Größe. Wenn ich die zuknüpfe, laufe ich blau an. An die Regeln der AG sollten also an ihre Vorlieben angepasst werden wollen. Vielleicht sollten sie darüber nachdenken, wenn sie im Arrest sitzen oder die Latinentanks putzen. Ich bin Professor für Atomphysik. Ich war niemals Soldat. Kommandant Brachmann hat mir einen Offiziersrang verliehen. 
weil Zivilisten im Oberkommando keinen Zutritt haben. Er sagte, das wäre reine Formsache. Ach, Sie wollen eine Sonderbahn? Sie können sich gerne als besser und intelligenter betrachten. Sie werden sich an die Vorschriften halten. Ihr Ungehorsam bedroht die Moral all jener, die an dieser Operation beteiligt sind. Gut. Stellen wir uns vor, ich befolge Ihren Befehl. Ich wurde hergeschickt, weil ich als Einziger die derzeitigen Probleme mit unserer Reaktorkühlung verstehe. Wenn ich umkehre, meine Zeit mit Latrintags verbringe oder Sie mich weiter von meinen Pflichten abhalten, sterben wir alle wegen einer Kernschmelze, die mich, Sie und all die beeindruckenden Medaillen in Ihrer Brust vernichten wird. Wäre das nicht auch ein Durchmarsch? Jawohl, Herr Kommandant. in your pipe and smoke it.
You need to shove that nuke right up in their filthy Nazi nerve center. The Oberkommando is situated at ground level directly above the cavernous vault with all that alien shit inside. You gotta haul your ass on up there, baby.
So, you want the Nazis to leave the warhead alone once you planted it, right? Well, what you gotta do is place it in the Oberkommando's nuclear reactor. That way, the Nazis won't be able to track its radiation signature. They won't find it, they won't disarm it.
must be the dot you should safe keep set was talking about. City Hall, sound the tornado alarm, evacuate the whole town. Now look for an exit and get the hell out of the blast zone. I'm almost done clearing out mission control. Meet you at the rendezvous by Galveston. Done deal.
I'm not supposed to play with you. Well, why he say that? My daddy said that Negroes are a sickness on the community and a bad influence, and dirty and thieves, and beggars and bums, and they don't know how to read or write, and that they're stinky and stupid and lazy and way too lazy to work an honest job. Well, my daddy did, but my mama say white folks is mean as all get out and hating and resenting on account they used to keep all colored to slaves and now they're not allowed no more. And that's why I can't use a good restroom at the fair and the man in the store won't let me in so I can buy chewing gum or soda pop. Well, what kind of chewing gum you like? Engine scouts. Red or yellow? Yellow. I hate the red ones. The red ones taste like puke. <laughs> yeah. What you got in that jar, Billy? Oh, it's nothing at all. It's for catching tadpoles. What you gonna do with tadpoles in that jar? Just go watch them swim. I feed them crumbs and carrots from the yard. Then they become pinky frogs. Well, I've seen tadpoles down the stream. Follow me and I'll show you. Oh, uh, okay. Come on. Remember you showed me the ring, Mama? For when I met someone special. Well, I did. And then a look right on her finger.
the rat fell into my bucket, now he can't get out. Look at that. <laughs> He'll drown. Probably. Well, save him, Billy. He's drowning. It's just a rat. He's gross. He's eating our food and spreading germs, pooping in our cupboards. Well, he's dying. He's dying, Billy. He's dead! Billy, look! Billy! Come back! You didn't do did it, Billy. You saved his life. Little guy. This life is a hardship, Billy. 
It is long, and it is paved with heartbreak. You will be old before you reach Rod's end. Just remember, my boy. It will end better than it began. Tell you a secret. Okay. Promise not to tell anyone. Yeah, okay. I'll whisper it. There somewhere, Billy, inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. The way I see it, we got two options. Either I pay good money for a new pocket watch, or you go down the well and do it.
it's the goddamn ruckus. And in Howard, they followed me. They, they pinned me down and they took my pocket knife. What the hell is wrong with you? You let them take your property, they're gonna walk all over you till there's nothing left. Now, I gave you that pocket knife. It was in your care. It's your responsibility. I will speak to their parents. You will do no such thing, Sophia. Oh, you're going to let your mommy fight your battles for you, are you, boy? Now, you go on out there and take back what's yours, and you are not setting foot in this house again until you do. <laughs> I'll be in the grave rotting away, and still a better daddy than you.
son, I have tried reasoning with you. I've tried smacking sense into you till the cows come home and nothing is working. Every night you wake me up with these noises. No matter how many times I try to tell you there are no monsters in our basement. I'm sorry, Daddy. At night, I see them. Clear as daylight. They're coming to kill Mama. All right. Here's what we're going to do. You take this. Wow. Now, you and I are going down into the basement, and any monsters that show up, we shoot them dead right between their eyes. Sometimes the best way to fix a problem is to face it head on. You with me? Yes, Daddy. Sophia, you in on this? You see them? No, Daddy. The monsters are gone. Well, I reckon if you do no wrong, ain't no monster gonna come after you, son. You think we scared them off for good this time? May I keep the gun? The place is gone to shit. I ain't been down here in nary a decade. I own a 2,000 acre ranch up by Forney Lake now. I heard on the radio you'd been sighted up near Roswell. I figured you might show up here. Nothing in this house but bad memories. So why'd you come? Need a place to hide? You need money? 
Well, you're barking up the wrong tree, son. Far too late to come begging now. Ain't nothing you can offer to make up for what you've done to us. I think of my father, I see a fuck you and a fist flying in my face. When'd you ever do right by me? Disobedient, ungrateful, sense like a flat tire, and a mouth like a sewer. Oh, I saw where you was headed. I've been down that hole myself. And I guarantee goddamn to you, I did all in my might to pull you out. What more do you want from me? I wanted you to treat me like I mattered. Like I wasn't some piece of dog shit got stuck on your shoe. I did my damnedest with you. The truth is, you were broke beyond fixing. What, are you some sort of super killer terror bomber now? You're on the wrong side, buddy. All them years, I was banging my head into the wall, coming to see that everyone was against me. And when the Nazis took over, things got a lot better. You play by their rules, you can do very well for yourself. Ask anyone around these parts, Blaskowitz is a name of renown and respect. Everything you touch turns to shit, and I do not need your stink on my name. Wanted murderer. Run off to the army as soon as you come of age broke your mother's heart. Where is she? She's gone. When? What happened? Well, what happened is we had a big goddamn war, and now we got a new government with new rules. They took her. She's gone. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? What do you mean they took her? They rounded up all the Jews and the coloreds and the queers. This is a white man's world now. White man's got to keep it Christian. You sold her out. So what? Wife made a living bemoaning me and raised a boy into a murderer. Well, I always saw you for what you are. Ten pounds of shit in a five-pound bag. On your knees. Daddy, I'm your son. Down on your fucking knees! Was a time I was scared of you. Was a time I'd have pissed myself, had a gun pointed at my head. You know what I feel right now? Not a goddamn thing. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell'd you call?
should have run, huh? To you, Anya. Covering his mouth. Not my problem, it stays on. Oh, Christ. Will you just give us some privacy, please? Oh, you look like ass, man. Fuck. Looks like you're at death's door. Seriously, this is not a good look for you. Anyway, listen, uh, your trial's coming up in a couple of weeks, and after that, they're gonna execute you, and that whole charade is gonna be televised to every living room on the planet. So instead of that bullshit going down, we're gonna break you the fuck out of here right now. It's kind of a risky plan, but the security they have around you is out of this world, so it's kind of the only play we got, all right? I mean, the hoops I had to jump through to get to you, and I'm your fucking lawyer! That pissed me off. But anyway, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make like you attacked me, and when the guard pig comes in looking for your ass, I'm gonna sneak up behind him and I'm gonna shove this little number right into the base of his skull. I'm gonna grab his keys and his gun, and I'm gonna roll you right on out to the elevator. <laughs> Papa Nazis, wherever they show up, straight down the garage, where Bombadi and Anya and everyone else has the getaway car. Okay, you ready? Let's get this freak show on the road. <laughs> Fuck! That hurts so bad. You don't even know. Let's get this fucking gag thing off you. All right. Once we hit the street, it's all car chases and flying bullets. They got tanks outside, man. We got some tricks up our sleeve, though. If we make it that far. We make it. 
The hard part is getting down to the garage. Hey! Help! Help! Open the door! He fucking attacked me, man! He broke my nose, and then he got out through that door right there! Fucking Terror Billy! He's on the loose! Stay back. And, and, he, and he had help. Uh, they, they came in right through that door, and they broke him out. It was space aliens, man! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Schnitt! <laughs> Cut! <laughs> Sie haben Talent. Sie sollten zum Film gehen, bei Helene vorsprechen. Guter Schuss, General. Der zuckt noch. <lacht> Idiot. He was dead as soon as he walked into the building. Tapfer, kleiner Liebling. Ich bin dein und du bist mein Liebling, so lieblich und open your mouth. Open. Open it. That's it. Huh? How does it taste? Gunpowder of the bullet that killed your friend. How does it feel? Do you love the taste? Oh, <laughs> you hear that? That's my attack force. Mm. Moving in on your friends in the garage. You're so boy. I'm gonna go down there now and join in on the fun. Anya, my family. Weeks pass, or more. Feel myself slipping away. Got me praying for the end. For theft and destruction of public and private property. Aiding the enemy. Torture. Terrorism, including nuclear, both domestic and abroad. And high treason. For gruesome murders that number in the thousands, you have been found guilty, Mr. William Joseph Blaskowitz. It is rare, even for a man of my job description, to come face to face with true evil. And it pains me that the maximum sentence that I can bestow upon you is something as trivial as Death! Death, Mr. Blaskowitz! Nothing but swift, sheer death! <laughs> Bailiff!
Mom. Oh, my son. I thought I lost you, Mom. I thought I'd never see you again. Oh, Billy. Life is full of unexpected things. Some make you cheerful. And some break your heart. I wasn't there when you needed me. I ran out on you. It hurts so much, Billy. It felt like my heart was being ripped out of my chest when you left. But all hardship is temporary. Do you know this? And most of it is inevitable. I had to stay behind so that you could leave. And now you're the one in trouble. Do not worry for me. My troubles are over, my son. I don't want to go back out there. I can't do this anymore. You are strong, Billy. We are survivors, you and I. We keep fighting even when we do not know how. You cannot help but be my son. I'm having twins, Mama. They're not born yet. I... I want to see them. I wanted you to see them. I miss you. We will be together soon. You just have one more hardship to go. Balin! Warm quill to daydreams. Stolen by cold winds of reality. Position. She's dropping it! You ready, Kinderlech? We have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady. Max Bombate! Drop it! Oh. Anya, now! <laughs> Hurry! You have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die. Okay. Is he alive? 
Answer me, is he alive? I'm afraid it's too late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! He's alive! Oh. Oh. Fucking genius, oh. did I ever tell you that? Sit. He's out! <laughs> Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh God, er ist tot. Scheiße. Das bin ich. Look! Look! He's awake! Hey, look at that German bastard! The only person on the planet hard enough to survive getting his head chopped off! It's the Blaskovich! Can you hear me? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Angela, please show this to him. Look, William. Seth is going to attach this to build a connection between your head and your new body. Anya! Kindle, please, I'm in a family. Doctor. Please come and help me here. Now... These are very rare Nazi combat equipment from super soldiers. Our fighters found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one, blink twice for the one in the middle, blink three times for that over there. Okay, Yingala, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. I'm not asleep. I'm God, and you got and you got and you got and you. How are you feeling, Mr. Blaskovich? Can you move your body? Yes, you can. Show us. Show us. I feel powerful. Do you remember your name? Do, do you remember your doings in the last two years? Aside from killing Nazis. <laughs> if you die one more time, William. I will murder you. Come, I'll give you some clothes. Send them to me when you're done. No, have you seen Katzele? Where's to get in? Where's to get in? Shim shim. I keep the shim. Mishvil, Mr. Blaskovich. How I look? Like a new man, Yingle. A new man. Oh, I look at you. I'm so happy you're back. Now, this, same thing Shoshana has. This, no, 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 no. This connects your head to your body. Very, very important not to fiddle with this. Now, you might feel some weird tingling sensation, not to worry, it's normal. But let me know if anything else happens. For example, your head trying to reject your new body, something like this. Exhaust! Mix! Mix! Exhaust! 
I have repaired the contraption you wanted. Put it on. Let's see what you could do with it. Go on, Mr. Blaskovich, put it on. So, Shimshin, your new body is very, very powerful. How powerful? Well, the ramshackles will lock your upper body joints in place so they will never break even when subjected to enormous forces. What does it mean? Well, for example, you can smash right through this wall. Caroline, thank you. Take back your wings. I don't need them anymore. Mr. Laskovich. You know, it's, it's remarkable to see you here standing in front of me. It's just astonishing. Detention and public execution were the most well-guarded events in television history. They're protected by the full might of the Nazi war machine. Instead, you're standing here in front of me. You know why? Now, the only reason you are standing here is Anya. She never gave up. No, this girl never gave up. When racist plan to rescue you uh, failed, Anya remembered what I accomplished with Shoshana. Ask me whether I can do the same thing for you. She was the one who brought into my attention the super soldier, biologically engineered bodies. She even reclaimed all of the weapons you lost at the ruins of the farmhouse. She is relentless, this girl. She's a keeper.
Thank God you're back, buddy. Everything's just fine and dandy, Captain. Oh, God, that's all bad. That's words, my friend. What a happy day. Welcome back to the land of the living. Hi. Hey, welcome back and all that, Pasco. <laughs> I'd love to pinch your cheeks and ruffle your hair, but if we drop this thing, oh, it'll explode and sink the whole fucking boat. Would you mind coming over here and lending a hand? Lexos! <laughs> Lexos! Oh, God, here comes the idiot. Uh, stay back, Max. This thing is very dangerous. You go boom like this! Oh, say your prayers. We're fucked now. You'll kill us all! No, 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 no! <laughs> what in the name of ass tripping fox has happened? Well done, Max. Outstanding. Oh, well, you're making this old Bodak sentimental, Blasco. We have to get this thing wired before we get to New Orleans. Oh, but it's right good to see you up and about again, Captain. <laughs> Oh, Herr Blaskovich, I saw what she did to you on the television broadcast. Oh, it was horrible. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry a thousand times. But now I really have to be. I'm so happy to see you alive again. <laughs> Might want to light a match or something. Yeah. Oh, my God. That stinked. I just wanted to get some rest before we arrive at New Orleans. Mm, just such a long ride. Need a few minutes. Can you put your arms around me, William? I met him on you. I seen him and I wasn't afraid no more. Oh, William. And your mother? What happened in the garage? In the garage? First time you tried to rescue me, Frau Angle's men attacked you in the garage. I heard the gunshots. Oh, that was nothing. We had some tricks up our sleeve. <laughs> That's exactly what Super Spare said. Answer my question. Which one? Is this real? Or am I in heaven? What's going on? Should go see if Grace has a job for me. Put this new body to good use. Right on, brother. Super special was a crazy son of a bitch. Always yapping about space aliens and whatnot. Fuck. I am gonna miss that white boy. Is it true what they say, Connie? We are on the way to New Orleans? Yep. What is it that we are doing in New Orleans? Don't know. Some shit. 
I listen to Grizz speak, but she speaks too fast for me. There is resistant fighters in New Orleans? Oh, right. Okay. Maybe they will help us fight the Nazis. Would that not be great? Word. You do not speak a lot, Connie. Do you know? I know. What happened to you when the bomb hit New York? You, you don't want to hear it. You can tell me, Connie. Nothing to tell. No? I think you haven't told your story to anyone. Maybe it will help you feel better to talk about it. Papa, he told me it's not good to keep feelings inside. The sad feelings, they need to come out into the open, and, and then you see they're not so big and scary after all. All right. All right, sirens. We're rigging. Taking shelter in subway. Ceiling caved in when bomb hit. Woke up. Smoke, fire, all around. Dead bodies, arms and legs. Blind people staggering, screams and crying. Air smelling of burnt hair. Dad's face melted off from the bones. Mom is on fire trying to stand up on broken feet. My little brother crushed under a concrete block, blood pooling on the railway tracks. <clears throat> then, quiet. Oh, fy fan, vilket helvete. I'm so very sorry, Connie. Does it feel better to talk about it? No. Oh, okay. I will stop disturbing you then. Later. Hello? In West Virginia, earlier reports concerning riots following the nuclear terrorist attack in Roswell have been confirmed false. Official sources have now confirmed that the riots were actually a peaceful anti-terrorism demonstration. In other news, was Terror Billy's last victim his own father? Shortly after the execution of terrorist leader William Joseph Blaskowitz, the body of a male stabbing victim was uncovered at Terror Billy's childhood home in Mesquite, Texas. Captain, have you time to help out Birgele Satana? Kitos, Captain Blaskovici. Stay on the platform. Grace told me to organize the storage bay by the moon pool. It's been in shambles since the Ausmerzer attack. But all the Vitun entrances are blocked by debris. Can't even get in there. Come with me and clear the entrances. I really don't want to let Grace down. This whole day has been from us. I know you have extra sisu from your ramshackles contraption, so hopefully you can find a way to ram through the debris. Ihana, Captain Blaskovici. Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Craze will let me build a sauna in here.
Alessandro? Tell me, why do people not speak to me? Well, uh, I... I don't know. Please, you can tell me. Do I look funny? No, signora. You are beautiful. I smell that. No, no. You smell good, like jasmine. Then why? You have, um, a lot of character. What's wrong with having character? No, I mean, you speak of strange things sometimes. Pardon? I only say what the voice in my head tells me to say. Exacto. And the voice scares people. What did you tell Abraham the other day when he tried to speak to you during lunch? I told him about the time I spent in the hospital in Paris. What is wrong with that? And? And? How I stabbed my doctor to death and cut him up to little pieces. That is what I'm talking about. But this is the truth. The doctor was going to put the drill in my head. Sometimes, Signora, truth is scary for people. Especially so during lunch. Gah. How are you, Captain? Bonjour, Captain. No, not you. Hey, man. Ah, damn, Captain. You're indestructible. A human tank, that's what you are. In Warsaw, we have lots of spice on food. Yes? There. Hope it not tastes like shit. My friend. I am pleased to find you alive, darling captain. We are lucky to have you. Hey, saludos. How this is possible you're still alive, I will never understand, Capitan. But I'm happy it is. Hey. You got a nice boat, man. I can't believe that you are still alive, Captain. Your head came off on the television, blood everywhere. Oh, yeah, yeah, for fun, also. Yeah, that reminds me, Blasco. Was it you who brought the uh, <clears throat> recommendation letter I was uh, writing to Maria? Yeah, you know I hate writing sodding words about as much as I hate Nazis, but uh, <laughs> she seemed uh, happy about it, so uh, no harm done, I suppose. Right, carry on. It's standing straight again. <laughs> hey, Blaskowitz. Boldo's dead, brother. Don't know if anyone's told you. 
Haas II just dropped us off for a mission when he caught a bullet from a Nazi sniper. Poor bastard. Keep him in your prayers, Blaskowitz. What's up, Mr. Blasco? Watch the trial, Mr. Blasco. What a fucking fuss. Reminded me of the circus the feds put on when they tried to frame Grace for murder. Hello, Blaskowitz? W welcome back, Blaskowitz. You good? Grace can be fucking infuriating sometimes, but I owe that woman my goddamn life. She'll do right by you too. <laughs> 